Assalamu alaikum students, this is Farwa Patu, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video of chapter number 10, Boolean logic. In this video, we will be doing part B of question number 2, activity 10.2. In the previous video, we are already done with part A of this question. So let's quickly do part B the same way. Okay, here you have a logic expression that is made, oh, sorry logic socket that is made up of four logic gates if you see in the picture and what you have to do you have to find out the logic expression of the following logic socket so the first thing you have to do is number the logic gates that you are using in the figure starting with your left hand side this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one and this one is the fourth one once you number them now you have to identify the names of these logic gates. So the first one is your NAND gate, N-A-N-D. N-A-N-D, NAND gate. The second one is your NOR gate, N-O-R. The third one is another NAND gate, N-A-N-D. And the final one is a NOR gate. So there are two NAND gates and two NOR gates. Let's start with gate number one. Logic gate one. Logic gate one is a NAND gate between two inputs. Let's identify the inputs of logic gate one. The first input is A and the second input is C. Look at here, it is coming from here, C. So this is A and this is C. And the operation or the logic gate will come in between, which is NAND. So it's an operation between A and NAND C. This is your logic gate one. Quickly find out the function of logic gate two. For logic gate two, it is a NOR between B and C. So write down B, nor C. So we are done with 1 and 2. Now look at very carefully for logic gate 3. The inputs of logic gate are the first one is A and the second one is logic gate 1. Yes, logic gate 1 is the output. The output of logic gate 1 is going to logic gate 3 as an input. So what you will be writing, logic gate 3 is a NAND gate whose first input is A and whose second input is coming from logic gate 1. So what you have to do, write down the value of logic gate 1 in this expression. So it will be A, NAND, and remember to write logic gate 1 expression in the bracket. That is A, NAND, C. This is how we work. If the input is a combination of two inputs. So we always write it in the bracket. Or in other words, if the input of a logic gate is coming through another logic gate, so write down the expression in brackets, like in this case. So now finally, we have the fourth logic gate, that is a NOR gate. It is giving you the final output. The gate is NOR gate and the inputs will be written here and here. Input 1 is coming from logic gate 3. Logic gate 3. And input 2 is coming from logic gate 2. Two. 
So what you can do, you can replace logic gate 3 and logic gate 2 with their expressions. So logic gate 3 has an expression, this one, and logic gate 2 has an expression, this one. So you have to write down both of these expressions in brackets. So for logic gate 3, write down a NAND bracket A NAND C. This is expression for logic gate 3. Write down in bracket. This is input 1 of your NOR gate. And the next input is also a combination of two gates. That is B NOR C. So write down B nor C instead of logic gate 2. So this is your final result or this is the value of your output that you will get. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope that you got the understanding of how to make a logic expression out of a logic circuit. Just remember the following steps. I am summarizing everything. You have to number the logic gates first from left to right. Second thing, you have to identify what are the logic gates that are being used. Then number three, you have to write down expressions for each logic gate. For each gate when you will be writing expressions for each of the gates then finally you will get the expression of your final logic gate in the logic circuit these are the three steps in order to find out logic expression of any of the logic circuit so this is your final result and remember not to forget these brackets wherever necessary Thank you so much for watching the video. Stay tuned, stay connected and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Bye-bye.